Pokemon are winter blooded. Go forth and take the Sudecus and Petraicus. I will not fail you. Let's go see the winter of blooded. Hey, so I'm picking up a couple of my uh, new little guys, and they're using a uh, transport company uh, that drives across Australia instead of sending them in the airplane. Um, yeah, they're called Ark. They're pretty cool. I'm just meeting up with them now, and uh, we will we will see. But um, yeah, it took like 24 hours up from New South Wales, sending me my two new little babies. <laughs> Another thing they also get as close as they can to your address, um, just without detouring too far off the main course for them. But um, Ark, such a cool company. Um, it's another freighting company around Australia that just uh, hand delivers you, basically, um, your animals. And here they are now. So my guys are in there, and so a bunch of other animals as well. Yay! So this is Pet City. That's probably one of the best bang for bucks and also have one of the largest varieties of enclosures and different animals. It's pretty cool. But they are just about to close, so. It's the Marine. Goldfish, tropical fish, plants, tropical fish, cichlids. some sharks and stuff but they're just uh, doing some maintenance there's some frogs I can't see them but there's some frogs in here frogs are normally very hard to see um, can't see them what else have we got We've got pygmy long-tailed rock monitor in here, but it's hiding. Stores monitor in here. Where are you? Can't see it either. It's hiding as well. The Dane tree carpet python. Another dane tree. Pretty sure that's called the gelatin jungle. I'm not sure. But, uh, come on. Jungle python, high yellow. Where are you? Oh, he's ready up. Now we've got some babies. Baby bread lie. So. 
rough scoured path in somewhere. Oh, you can just see the. Scorpions, roaches, centipedes. Big enclosures, and if you're a VIP, so if you have a card, so much cheaper. Just the range of different enclosures is awesome. Look at this big one here, look at the size of it. That's pretty, that's pretty good, really. I should not have walked in there. I overspent and spent some of my uh, Jeep money, but at least I'll have a cool cage. It's flat packed. But um, yeah, so I, because this is my first venomous snakes, I just want to be able to like see them. So I got a, like a full glass, full glass enclosure. So. <laughs> Here today, we'll be opening my first venomous reptiles. How cool! Alright, do you wanna um, hold this for me? Sweet brother of mine! And we shall have a look easy in here. This isn't the best knife to be using. Go team. <laughs> no, that's good. All right. One. One. Quite, quite small. They're, they're still really little. I'm just trying. Two. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Come as you grab. Oh, what is it? It's zip tied shut, so I'll grab the hook. What we'll do. Just make sure we're not up here. And cut away. I should have really got like <laughs> something else. <laughs> That's not a knife. It is, it is not. It is not a knife. Um. Oh, this is the female. So I guess um. Oh, she's beautiful. I don't have, um, oops, she's back it up a little bit. Are you defensive? Oh, 
She's pretty cute though. It's beautiful. Can't really um you can't really get a good hold of them like this size. So you can definitely oh, she's gonna go for a climb. Coming for me. There we have it. <laughs> she's beautiful. <laughs> she's so beautiful. Oh, I love you. Oh, oh, don't go off, don't go off. Pretty active, eh? Freaking out a bit. Yeah. All right, we'll just, we'll just pause that. That was the female. How cool is she? It's a red belly black snake. It's roughly about a year old. Whoop, he's up this end. I got, um, the guy I bought them off, Alex. Oh, can't remember his last name. Alex, Alex is a good breeder, well known down in, um, New South Wales there. And he does taipans and all sorts of other uh, elapids. Um, and he also supplies the zoos. Um, so he's very well known and very good at what he does. So these guys were held by him, but um, also they've been traveling and whatnot. So this is the boy. Oh, straight down. He's a bit thicker. Very curious about what's going on. I don't. Not. Yeah. I'm not gonna tail this guy. Oh, um, leave him be until um. The female was a little bit calmer off the bat. He's a bit skittish. No. Um, that I will. Look at him, parking up like a cobra. When they're very little like this, you don't really want to tail them um, because they can turn straight back on themselves and they're a lot more agile at this size. Oh. So, yeah. so they're a lot more agile at this size um, where a big one, um, you can kind of react a bit better. But, um, yeah, so anyway, these guys need to go in their um, cages for now, and then I'll do a red belly black setup. And um, we'll let these guys chill out for about three days, and then um, I'll get them back out, give them a feed, annoy them a little bit, um, and just uh, hopefully they chill out quite a fair bit. How cool is that? Come here. So yeah, red belly black. You. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright All right, guys, so we're a little bit fucked now. It's a bit late. We just set up this reptile one enclosure. Look at it. That's one side. That's the other side. Fully locked, which you need for any venomous. And it's got actually a partition in the middle that you can take out if you really want to, but it's fully sealed in so that's quite large both really large now I'm gonna do a quick setup of all the stuff and then um, we'll put that I'll put the basking lights in tomorrow and stuff there's no real re reason for it tonight but yes a rock underneath where the basking lights gonna go somewhere for them to Come bask in the sun, in the heat. Water bowl, nice big water bowl. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet. Put it back. I reckon I should put it high there. So I'm going to put the water bowl.
more at the front so I can just fill it up easily. And there. Hide our gravel. We'll get this first. Just some mulch basically. Um, tropical reptile bedding, it's called. They're not really that tropical, but they, they go everywhere and they do hang around um, they do hang around ponds and wet areas because they like eating other reptiles and amphibians in the wild. Need somewhere to hide so they feel secure, otherwise they will stay quite defensive. Need somewhere so they can go if they want to. Same again. This stuff is quite moist. Well, not moist, moist, but. Too wet, it's just a little bit damp. No, they'll like it. Yeah. Oh. So that's there, that's those enclosures for now. Um, and then obviously, basking light, boom, straight above their rocks. So, be nice and hot for them, about your 35 degrees, I reckon. About 35 degrees, we'll go between 30 and 40 degrees basically. Um, and they'll be on timer with the cycle of uh, the day and night. So I'll have it on timer to turn on at 6 in the morning, all the way up to midday. I might even turn it off in midday because it's going to get quite hot. We're coming in the summer, spring and summer, and then it'll come back on at about 2 o'clock up to 5. But cool. Alright, let's get these buggers out. So it's just in here. I'm just going to find out where he is. Use the hook, don't use your hand. He's going to be buried. Oh, in here. Here he is. Hey, buddy. This guy should be pretty, pretty chill now. That's what I found down, mate. Change the angle of my hook. This is my first elapid, too, so. Keep that in mind. Let's do that. Hey! Sweet. There you go, there's the boy. Ooh. Oh, you can go in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Sweet. There we go. Hi. Do you want to watch him slither a little bit? And the light, we'll get some light happening in there tomorrow. He's just chilling. Yeah. Like, what is this? Alright, your turn. <laughs> Alright, this is my brother Lachlan, and this is the female. From what he um, told me, um, the ma other male had a little bit of a gold on the nose, so that one's got the gold on its nose, so maybe 
Um, maybe you got it wrong. Bagged them wrong. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do a second video. Yeah. Oh, um. Better get a bit, yeah. Yeah. Just nice, gentle, and a hook underneath the head. That's it. That is it. There we go. First of Lapids, first of Lapid build. And I'll update you with the lights and temperatures and all that. Yeah, winter blooded. Woo!